makes the initiation then um, probably she's cheap or something quote and unquote and so i believe that uh, before a lady initiates it she must be able to know the maturity of the guy she's um, initiating the date with so at the end of the day won't look awkward that she initiated but i think it can it can it can be both ways it can come from the lady it can come from the guy it's, it's not out of place okay yeah. I know it's it's important that we have friends around, but then when it comes to friendship, don't we have a limit to that? Well, there's a limit to everything, regardless of whatever that will come your way. There's a limit to it. So is friendship as well, because there are people out there you see as friends, but in actual senses they are your competitors. They don't want anything good to come to you. When you are going high, they tend to get angry with it. So with that kind of friendship. You have a limit to it. You know what to discuss with this person and what not to discuss with the person. And there are some people you see them as they are your friends, but they are not. People also see you as your their yeah, friends, friends, but in actual senses, you are also not their friends. So there is a limit to being a friend with someone. It's not everything that you pop up out there telling someone you call your friend. Okay. So assuming you're on a date with a guy and then uh, you incur bills, who is supposed to handle that? Um, it's vice versa, yeah. But I think in our part of the world, ladies have make it like guys should always be paying when you go out for it is, which shouldn't be that because in actual senses you are both in this relationship together and whatever you are doing should be together. So if you are out on a date, you should either split the bill or you tell your guy, please let me pay this. The next time you go out for a date, you can also handle the bill. That's how I feel it should be. It shouldn't always be the responsibility of the guy to always be paying bills when we go out on a date. But then, a, a, a date meant for only the two of you. A date, a date meant for only the two of you. Exactly. It's meant for the two of you. Rightly, as someone has said, you who are gathering data, you are trying to know whether you are compatible or not. It's a stepping stone to your relationship. It's not the relationship. So at this point, there are things that you like to know about the guy in which you're involved with, and he also wanting to know about you. So if you go out with other people involved, he might not feel comfortable to talk or reveal certain things about himself to you. So these dates should always be about the two of you, no other plus person. Okay. Um, some more. Do you also agree with her that dates is only meant for both uh, girls? So, yes. If, if so, why then do most ladies, as when they are going on a date, they actually take them as part of it, come just as friends? Okay, so personally, I'm here to um, meet one. Or <laughs> 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 but then <laughs> I'll meet you then, of <laughs> stories, guys sharing their stories every day. I mean, I mean yeah. we, are, we are in a social media era, so <laughs> some of these stories, you, you cannot really believe it. But at this day and age, mm -hmm. I, I will find it very difficult to, to understand why somebody will come on a date with a friend. Is your friend the security coming to protect you <laughs> from, from wh whatever you are? I mean, it, it doesn't make, I, I, I don't understand. It, it, you, there's no way you can explain it to me for it to make sense to me. Um, unless, of course, you have that low mind mentality that you are coming to milk him and then you just go. But if you are really serious about what you are doing, I mean, um, I've even heard some ladies say that even her guy, she would never let her friends really get that close mm -hmm. with, with him. Okay, because a lot of ladies might pass your back or you, you don't know what, what, what can happen. The moment they get a chance with a the guy, they can create a whole lot of problems for you in your relationship. And so why would you want to bring your friends on a date that we are supposed to meet and, you know, share ideas or get to know each other well and then you come and then at the time that we are supposed to talk and then you know be a bit uh, <laughs> Free with each you, other. you understand <laughs> then i i can't talk well because your friend is sitting by no I, as i said i don't believe it's happening but it, it is oh me i don't believe it ah, is. Who, who would do that it is it is happening okay so what i believe is that if anybody does that then from the onset they have declared their intentions that they are not really ready for the relationship. They just came to probably have fun with their friends and left. That's, that's my understanding. Because any serious person that is coming into a relationship and they mean business will not come with a friend on a date. 
And so if you're a guy and a lady is coming on a date with you and she comes with the friends, there and then you should know that she's not interested. She's just coming to you know, have fun with the friends and go. Okay. That, that is my understanding okay. of it. MFA, why would a lady carry her friends along with her on a date? You know, I mean, you don't even know the pockets of the guy. Yeah, it be a scan all day, but no, that's enough for uh, whoever you are bringing along. Or I hope you, you get the scenario I'm coming from. Why would a lady do such a thing? So I actually don't understand where ladies do that, but it's not right because the person you are coming to meet, you don't know his capacity. You don't know what he's able to cater for. Maybe he's planning for just the two of you and you're bringing someone along. So I don't know why most ladies do that. Some will say because they are not interested in the relationship. That was a story I heard. The lady said she wasn't interested in the relationship. So taking their friends along and the guy wasting money will make the guy leave her alone. Which is very bad. So because it looks like it, it was actually a plan. Yeah, thing. let's go and just waste <laughs> his money. Let's eat and waste his money. Which is very bad because if you're not interested in the person at the first place, just make it known to the person. And don't bother going on a date with the person. Because I believe when going on a date with the person, you are really going to know this person. You are a serious-minded person. Mm -hmm. And you want to know if I can go out with this person. So if carrying your friends along will show to him that I'm not interested, it's very bad and it's very low-minded. How yeah. how about security? What if maybe the it's it's your first time of meeting? So definitely the lady would want someone to attend to because you don't know who you're going to meet, whether the person is genuine as it seems to be. What if maybe it's just so, for security purpose? When it comes to security, I believe you should do a lot of background check out. You should check whether the person you are going to meet is really the person you have been testing or you've been chatting with. And I would advise that you also call the dates at an open space. There are a lot of restaurants in this country that are open, that are public. Don't go to a place where it's very quiet, that is going to be only the two of you that you feel insecure. Go to a public place where if something is happening, someone can be of help to you. And you can inform someone, I'm going to this place, drop your location. I mostly do that when I'm going out. I send my location to someone very close to me, I'm going to this place. If you don't hear from me within this hour, call my phone or do this, follow the location and come. Those are security features you all have to put in place. Go to an open space for your dates. Don't say because of security reasons I want to take my friend and then it's better you go and call military man to follow you for the date. <laughs> yes, to give you the security needed. Because I believe your female friend cannot do anything. In this country, we mostly don't carry pepper spray along. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell me, ah, my friend is having pepper spray in her bag. So if something is happening, she's going to, no. So if it's for security purposes, I believe you have to get a bouncer or a security person to follow you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you have something of course, of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> Why would you even think that the person is coming to harm you in the first place? No, if, but if, let's, if, let's, if let's take it from this scenario. I met you on Facebook. Okay. I hardly know anything about you. You're okay. just, you know, from what conversations okay. I remember, and then okay. you seem to be interested so, so, in so that's what she's saying. inviting me on for a date. That's I what mean, she's saying. I think saying. I'm entitled to come along if you with are not, no, because of if, if, if you are not too sure about who you're going to meet, then choose the venue that, that you think would be more um, security viable for you. Oh, okay. You understand? The venue should be chosen by you. And you, uh, is the day going to be in his house? You're not going to his house for, for, for crying out loud. Unless probably he's saying he's insisting that he has to, you have to come to his house. Then you even inform him ahead that because I don't know you, I think these things have to be communication, mm -hmm. you know, issue. Because I don't know you and you are insisting we should come to your house for the first time, which under normal circumstances I wouldn't have done. But since you are insisting, then as I'm coming, I'm coming with somebody. And so it shouldn't be something that he will, you will come and then it will be like a surprise to him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know you are coming with somebody. And then all of a sudden, you show up. Um, at the end of the day, this thing is, is not just about even dating. But I think even when you're going to visit someone, the person knows you are coming. All right. But probably the kind of relationship you have with the person, they loosely leave things around. And so you come to the house and they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are not careful about their, their stuff. But then you are coming and they unannounced, you come with a friend that I am not comfortable with. You understand? There and then, it's, it's, it's awkward. And so I believe that you should inform him ahead if really you want to go with somebody. 
inform the person ahead that I am coming with somebody. I insist. Unless you, you, you permit me to come with, with my friend, I don't think I can, I can make it. Then you, you, you guys conclude on it. Yeah, I will chip this in. I once went on a date with a guy. The time he gave was very late. Very late. And this is a date I've been postponing for months. When he called, I said, oh, let's meet, let's do, let's do. So this time I decided to give him the chance. And the time he was telling me he would be available was very late. I just chose a location close to my house. Because it's not now that I will leave at 10 p.m. and I have to go and book a car. When will I get home? When will I go to work the following day? And all that. I chose a location very close. A walking distance to my house is what I told him. He should come and meet me in this place. He doesn't know that is where my house is. So just make it very simple for you yourself and the person you are going out with. Choose a space that is very convenient with you. There are a lot of space. There are lots of restaurants, whatever you want to do in this country that are big enough that when you go, there are lots of people out there that can see if really something is happening. Not necessarily your friend that you want to go with. Okay. I'm really interested in what she just said. Is timing really important when looking at the time she said you guys I mean it's 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 it's, 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 it's a late it's a late hour. Very, very critical. Um, especially on a first date, okay? If I'm meeting you for the first time, um, like just like she said, the, 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 the commute or whatever, it, sh it shouldn't be a, a, a far place from where I, I, I live. Because if it's, if it's late and I have to meet you at a far place, by the time I, I close and I'm coming back, um, either you choose to come and drop me off, or you ask me to pick um, a public um, whatever car, a uh, vehicle. And then at the end of the day, if I don't even get a car, I might be forced to sit in your car, which can also lead to something else. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the time, the time should be considered. Um, you should factor in all security, um, whatever, before you, you step out there, because anything can happen. It can be well planned. The person can choose a time that oh you you go like oh because of the time you can't even go so let me go and drop you off and then once you get in the car anything can happen mm -hmm. al along the way so the time of course yeah especially as i said on a first date on a first date yeah and um if you have not really gotten to know the person well yeah you should you should be able to tell or choose the time that will be very convenient for you um or for the both of you talk mm -hmm. about it i believe as i said it's a communication issue mm -hmm. people should be able to talk you understand? People should be able to talk when it comes to relationship, uh, discussions. Um, we, we are coming from a, a, a culture of silence. Mm -hmm. And so when, when something is not, I mean, right with me, I'm not able to voice it out. Yeah. Especially in the case of men. Like this, this one that we are seeing. A guy may go on a date with a lady. And the lady may come with about three friends and he will not be able to talk. Me, I'll talk. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll give you options. It's either you people pay for your, your meal or there will be no date. Oh. oh, yes. The moment I see you and your friends, I'll open up and then I'll, I'll, I'll talk. I, I think recently one of my friends was saying, ah, but you, it's as if I'm very free. I'm like, it's not as if I'm in very free, but I won't do something. And then at the end of the day, I'll go back home and, and it will be eating me up. Yeah. I, no, I'll talk. I'll tell you what is convenient with me. Mm -hmm. if, if you are cool with that. And I think that that is if we are really copying the, the, the Western lifestyle that we are we want to bring into our, our, our settings, then we must also copy that. They will tell you what is convenient with them and what is not. I think when it comes to the Western style, we are actually copying blind. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree to that too. I agree to that a lot, a lot. We are copying them, but then we are not really copying the the the, the, the real deal that we should. We are copying just the surface. Um, things that we see on the internet and then but there are things that we really need to pick from them they will tell you their minds this one i can't do it regardless of the relationship they have with you probably they start off politely and then if you become too pressing then they best start and let you know this one is not working with me i think it sh we should talk when it comes to um, dating everybody should be able to voice out there shouldn't be pretense a lot of people are going into relationships starting off with pretense mm -hmm. okay you, you you go and portray a picture of who you are not. Yeah. 
And so you get into the relationship and you are uncomfortable. You are not able to be yourself. And the first time you start being yourself, it becomes an issue. Yeah. So start off with who you are. Okay? And who you are means that if, if probably there's an error with me, I'm, I'm willing to improve on it, but this is who I am. Okay. This is what you are getting. Okay. Let's go into the relationship as this. And so along the line, I'm willing to make changes and I'm willing to grow. But for now, this is who I am. People should be able to open up. That's, 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 that's me. Okay. That's um, me. Let me ask you this question for you. Early on, we spoke about the uh, pain of abuse and go on a date. Oh, okay. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be romantic for the lady to pay for the date? On the first date? Um, I mean, it's always a tradition of the guys. Me, <laughs> me, for instance, when I come on a date with you, uh, I would want to pay. Yeah, under under all circ every circumstance, I would be willing to pay. Um, it will also be quite romantic if the lady opts to do it, and uh, if she insists to a point, probably I, I will let her do it. And just like you said, yes, it 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 will be nice. Um, I've I've had an instance where a lady decided to make the take the initiative that sh we we should go out, and she's going to pay the bills and everything. The moment she said it, in, in fact, I was not willing to do it. Mm -hmm. She was she was texting me on Facebook. I was not minding her. And one day she just texted me and said that she wants to take me on a date. All the bills on her. Immediately I was like, no. Nobody has ever done this in my life. So even if it's just for going to sit down and talk, I will come. You will come. And that's how we got to know ourselves. And then just like I said, we talked, but then eventually we realized that we were not compatible. You understand and so yeah it's, it's it's romantic and it's nice i believe ladies should be doing that more often yeah Ever. they should be trying as a lady wouldn't that be romantic yeah it should be very romantic looking at uh, our part of the world where we push almost every bill to the meal it'd be very romantic for a lady to actually stand up and say i want to pay i want to pay this bill but i also believe on the first date whoever calls for the date should Pay the, pay the bills yes on the first date whoever calls on the date to pay the bill if you are the lady who is inviting the guy on a date you should pay the bill and if the guy is the one inviting you for a date he should pay but let's just make life very flexible for all of us by assisting our guys in handling bills when we go out with them okay. yeah um this let me <laughs> this question is a very tricky one assuming you went on a date with this uh, special guy then uh, all of a sudden, instead of uh, you guys being alone, you come along with a friend. And then you, the lady, you know, when you go for a date, it's actually the uh, guys who are supposed to put the bills uh, in, in a normal person that we do. And then you, the lady, you are the one who puts up the bills, and uh, even to the extent that to even um, give transportation out to the guy. How, how would you feel about that? All right. I invite you for <laughs> no, no one day, not for four hours. <laughs> and then all those on you, the lady. All right, I believe it's uh, it should be part of our communication. Just like rightly, if a lady is coming with her friend, she should tell you, as a guy, when you are going on a date with a lady and you know your friends will be coming, you should inform her ahead of time to prepare herself if she is going to pay the bills. But if it's an impromptu something, you should be able to voice out just like someone rightly said it. tell the guy okay we came for a date so she's supposed to both of us but your friends are here i'm going to foot the bill of both of us your friends should also foot their bill if it comes to critical points and the guys are not having money and you have there's nothing wrong with you assisting them to pay their bill but you should make your feelings known to the guy that we are here to know ourselves the both of us and not your friends you don't want any referee so if there should be any referee, then the referee should be able to pay their bills. But if it comes to fiscal point and the guys coming along cannot afford to pay their bills and you have the money, you can assist them in paying and to maybe giving them the transportation <laughs> that you spoke of. But I, um, guys are not fan of doing that. No. Guys are not fan of inviting okay. their friends on dates. Okay. It's ladies that <laughs> I mostly ask, do I that. Ask, okay, I ask that question because of, of an experience. I'll come back to that. Yes, so 
she she rightly says that ladies are the ones who are fond of i mean bringing friends but then have you not um, met any guy or don't you know of any guy who has actually done the opposite uh, uh not not yet okay not, not so yet. so i have this colleague okay you and sometimes when guy or guys do this they don't let their friends sit on the same table with you okay they let their friends sit elsewhere then you and the lady in question have the time for yourself but with the ladies they want to all pack themselves on the <laughs> table that you are sitting that you are no sitting when guys do this i have experienced when guys do this they are they mostly allow their friends to sit at a different table and also feel comfortable when people are done then maybe the guys will come around and he'll introduce them to you as his friend or something and even even times guys do that it's it's with ladies that we are already comfortable with yeah. we are already in a relationship with and so probably i'm going out with my friend and then oh i called you and then you wanted to tag along and so we all went together and this mostly is my uh, a friend that you know my friend that you know already and so when we go and we sit together and you are comfortable with it he also joins us but hardly would a guy go on a first date we guys and us whatever we do we keep it to ourselves so you understand we may be working together and everything but when it comes to our relationship and stuff most of the time especially what with the lady we are so much interested in we keep it to ourselves most of the things we don't even share it among ourselves you understand um we, we, a lot of guys want to go go with this gangster move that they are not even in love and all those things you understand and so the things i want to show around my lady i don't want my guy to come around and see it but most guys are very romantic with their women but when they meet their guys they want to show this gangster thing yeah. and all that so hardly would you see a guy bringing a friend along to a, a, a date with, 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 a, with a lady okay. Hardly, hardly. okay how, how would you also feel should a lady do that to you asking that should a lady bring friends yeah. on a date yeah. i think i said it already yeah. right there and then there will be no date, be no date. either there will okay. be no date okay so um the question i asked them if uh, i know of a friend who okay. went on a date with a guy and surprisingly for her the guy came along with his friend and as she stated earlier normally guys would actually sit but in this time they sat with her and wow. all bills was on her to the extent after the uh, eating and whatever on their way the guy had asked for money wow. looking at this person what 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 made him or what do you think made him do such a thing it's a first day you you it, it's a it's a personal experience like you you know you know of yeah the person. i know i know of the person really yeah <laughs> <laughs> you see even, wow. even when you mentioned the ladies oh, and i was like I, I, i'm not sure You're such not a sure. thing yeah it, th this is something that really happened wow. okay so um was it the lady that initiated the the, 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 the date it was the guy that initiated the date wow i'm still trying to understand <laughs> what's going on you see <laughs> if it was the lady that initiated wow. the date right then then you know that the guy is not interested but he just came to probably take advantage of of her but if he also initiated it it could also be that he had seen advances from the lady that the lady is interested in him mm -hmm. oh not so not so not there so. wasn't anything like that not so. then the guy is out of his mind <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah because this one this one is very unconventional you you, you there's no explanation to this Probably the guy is, is is just out of his mind, and then he doesn't know what he's he's doing. Probably he's he's, he's just messing around. So, but then couldn't even any of the friends actually even talk sense to him? Because they, they all tag along with him. Best best they, of they a feather all... flock together. Yeah. Tell me your uh, show me your friend, and I will tell you what your character what is. Character. Um, there there are so many that I've I've been saying this a lot of the time that when I meet you, I may not necessarily know what you do. But if you tell me the things about your friend, and, and ladies are fond of that, mm -hmm. when they are dating you, they will be telling you, oh, this is my friend. She's, she's dating you, but she has another guy. Another. The moment you say that, I sit back and then I ask myself, well, why is she your friend then? Mm -hmm. If somebody is doing such a thing like this and she's still your friend, what, what kind of life are you people living? I mean, what kind of, what kind of conversations do you have? Because um bible says that can two work together except they agree and so what the person does 
that you say is not right and yet you are working with a person when we sit down and we are talking what kind of conversations are we having because definitely she will talk about um, her, her side guy or side nigger and everything and you would also contribute to, to the conversation so your friends I'm, I'm very particular about people's circle when I meet you you, you may not open up to me, you may try to tell me that you are not this or that, but when I look at the people around you, I, I have a different picture. And so, yes, the guys, they, he can't have friends that can advise him um, out of that. They are all just like that. Probably they are all playing around, they are all messing around. So such a person, the lady should advise herself right there on, on the spot. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it, it, uh, he didn't pay for the, 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 the stuff. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Nothing. He also came along with friends, yes. and then at the end of the day, he even he had the guts to, to come and ask you for transport. Yes. And the lady gave it out. Yeah. Why? She is, she, is, she that, is she that desperate? She is very generous. Oh, give me, give me her number. Uh, let me, let me I call think her. it should be limited to the food. Uh -huh. As long as you are able to pay for the food, even the food. and the drink and even the food. I'm sure maybe she, 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 she was caught off guard just like you. You were also surprised. Was it, put on the spot, and yeah, it be, I, I don't know what really transpired there, but then I'm sure, say, yeah, she was, she was kind of no, the, then, then the, the lady is, is extremely um, generous, yes, yeah, she, she's generous. She's probably she's a kind person, and um, you know, she she has a good heart, mm -hmm. and so sometimes she may even do things before later realizing that ah, this thing I shouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it doesn't make any 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 sense you know it, it doesn't make sense in any way anyhow you look at it, it doesn't make sense so i i can't really understand if you were if it was not to come from you i wouldn't have believed it here <laughs> if i heard it somewhere if i saw it on the social media space i wouldn't have believed it oh this is something that actually happened uh, MFA, what do you also think about this really as i've said earlier if i'm able to pay for the bills the transportation it's going to be very difficult. Oh, you pay. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, no, but let's, let's this, go on a date. <laughs> these are guys that are uh, like, they just put you on the spot like that. Yes, you just have to pay. That is if you are having the money. If you are not having the money, allow them to put their bills. If it's the dishes you go and wash for the people to pay for the meals they've enjoyed, if they are going to work for them for three hours to pay for it, that is their issue. But if you have the money, I think you should just pay for them. But the transportation is what I'm having issues with. You have the guys to tell her, you give us transportation. And not just you, but the three of you again. That's it's a no-no. I don't think the guy is serious. I think he's, either he's having a problem or he's naive. Yeah. Okay. So looking at the guys, uh, the story that I gave out, and then that of the lady's story, do you think they came along with an agenda? Do you have an agenda for uh, their yeah, ladies, that's what I said from the beginning. Maybe she's not interested in the relationship that she people want to build. And the only thing that came to mind is let me go with my friends and let him waste money. Then he'll back off. But that is very childish. That, that is very, very childish. Of if you are not interested, the first thing you should tell the guy is, I'm not interested in the date. Let's, let's learn how to say no to people. Let's learn that that is something we should learn in, in this uh, part of the world. Learn to say no to people. If you are not interested, it's a no. Don't say, let me go and then show him my attitude, then he himself will back off. It's not right. This is our plus one, plus two. It's something that we have to stop. It doesn't only end when having a date with someone, it boils down to our life. Whether someone invites you for a naming ceremony, wedding or stuff you are the one they invited but you see ladies going out there with two or three friends your, your friend the or the one who invited you is preparing for only you but here you are going with two or three friends i've had this um experience where i invited a friend for a party and she came along with two people it didn't just end there there was a surprise party that was meant for me i came and i learned they invited only one person, but she came with two people. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, so if this is how these people are, or they are going to behave, then any time I'll have a program, I'll always make provision for plus two or plus three. <laughs> because yes, uh, I've noticed that when people have been invited for events, social events, 
they come with one or two, if they think like maybe they don't want to feel bored or they don't want to mingle with others, then they come with plus one or plus two. So personally, I've advised myself if I'm having a program, anyone I'll be inviting, I'll make sure I have plus one or plus two for the person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, um, I've tried to keep this on a very mm. um, Libra. <laughs> You, you know, have to go get out. <laughs> yes, I, I've, I've not, I've not gone into this whole relationship stuff deeply. Let me, let me. I just there are things that I just want to send across. Um, people should not be opportunistic. Um, relationships should be built on grounds of love and of sacrifice. Um, I, I read recently on Facebook a guy that says that he has a baby mama. And um, he went through some kind of win um, windfall and his life, he, he, was, he was down. And so he met an, an old classmate who decided that oh, she will give him a loan of 56,000 CDs. And after that, the lady has given him other stuff and all that. But the lady one time woke up and said that he should give him back the money. And because they tried dating and it did not work. Because the guy says that she, she, um, he, already, he opened up to the lady that the baby mama is still in his life. So probably I think along the line, the lady was still not okay with that. And um, she's asking him to refund the money. And the guy is saying that the lady says that she has given him two weeks. If she, he doesn't refund the money, she will curse him. And then the question he came on, on the internet to come and ask is that, would the curse work? So he's, <laughs> he's not even coming to ask us as to how he, he will be able to repay the, the money. But he's coming to ask, will the case work? You understand? Then, then you know that he entered the relationship with yeah. an opp opportunistic yeah. mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He was not ready to let go of the baby mama. But then she, he saw that this lady also had money. And then he wanted to go and exploit her or take advantage of her. So we should take away the dating um, opportunistic mentality. A lot of people go into relationships and they, they wonder why there's no peace in the relationship. And this thing that is happening, uh, I can go on and on and on and on if I have just about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me address ladies that marry. Okay. And just like uh, my sister said, and they want the man to bear every responsibility. I talk to men and they don't have any peace in the house. They don't have any joy in the house because soap, she will call him. Petty, petty things, she will call him. And it's all because we are coming from a home that they tell us when you incur losses, send it to your husband. When there's profit, <laughs> bring it home. Bring it home. You, see, you see, people are not really talking about it, but on the low key, a lot of women.